Hello guys, Bafayet here and today I'm going to be taking a first look on a gacha game called Sword Master Story and this game is basically an idle game and before I go and do the combat let's first take a look at some of the characters that you can collect in this game so those five characters you can see is basically my current team this character right here at the top is the main character of the game those two three stars you get from the story mode she is a free five star and she's a four star that I have received from the four star ticket and now let's look at some more of the characters now I would say that I know what you're thinking right now you must be saying something along the lines of that those characters look pretty plain and boring and I would totally agree with you they the artworks don't look that great but there is a reason for it and this guy basically he kind of looks like the character from the overlord but yeah the reason for it is what you will see during the combat gameplay like it's not they didn't make the artworks like that by accident like they made them look like this on purpose and it will make sense to you once we jump into the combat but before I jump into the combat I thought that those are just very generic and boring artworks but when I jumped into the combat I was like wow okay I'm totally fine with the artworks because they just fit what what is going on in the actual combat itself you know at least that's what I would say so that's just pretty appropriate to the in-game models that you see in combat which I'm going to show you right now and this is totally just my opinion so that's how the in-game models look for the characters and now at least in my opinion this game like feels a lot like playing Dungeon Fighter Online. If you have ever played Dungeon Fighter Online, you will probably agree with me that the graphics just look great. And I really love the graphics of this game. Like I, I really feel like I'm playing Dungeon Fighter Online right now. I love those 2D graphics. And let's do some more battles. But yeah, as I said before. At the start of the video, this is an idle game. So, I don't need to do any combat. It's just auto battle on double speed. The game automatically advances the stage in the story, but sometimes it just gets stuck on the same stage. I don't know why. But you gotta babysit it. Unless I just don't know how to set it up properly. But yeah, that's how the combat looks like. The combat is just a basic idol game. Your characters use the skills when they are on cooldown. And those four skills on the other side, like the heal and other skills are the skills that the main character has, I don't I'm not too sure. But yeah, let's finish the battle and I'm going to talk a little bit about other game modes and how you upgrade the characters and all that stuff. So yeah guys, that's the combat. As I said, idle game, but the graphics are totally amazing. And as I said, as I said, even though the artworks don't look that great, when you don't do the in-game combat, but once you do the in-game combat, I would say the artworks are totally fine and that's how they should look for this game, at least in my opinion. So yeah, now let's keep going. Let's go over to the other game modes. So here the first tab is the Evil Tower, the second tab you fight against this dragon and you get the box from which you obtain gear drops, that's where you ob obtain the gear. The third tab is the EXP potions, fourth tab is gold, the, five tab, the fifth tab is the tab where you get the materials for upgrading the skills, like you can use gold to upgrade the skills but there is two tabs for skills and one of them requires gold and the other one requires those cubes and the last one I haven't unlocked yet but the cool feature about this game is like let's say I want to farm the EXP potions right 
So all you do is just you enter this stage and you just leave the game open and it's just auto farms for you. But also the nice thing is right you have the option to sweep it 20 times per day. But I cannot sweep level 6 because I don't have enough power, like you need to outpower the stage that you want to sweep in order to be able to sweep it. So let's go for example to stage number level 4. And as you can see it says green. Text in the green, there is text in the green under my power so that means this stage is very easy for me to beat. So I can just sweep it. I just press this button, bam, I'm done, I get the materials and I can sweep 19 more times. So yeah, that's really nice quality of life feature to have. Now, let's go over the... How do you upgrade the characters? Okay, so this guy is actually max level. Hold up. She is not max level, so yeah. You can you use your EXP potions to level up your characters. Of course. So let's give her some of the potions. Now, here, as I said, this is, those are some of the skis that you upgrade using the cubes that you get from the daily dungeons. And here you use gold for those skills. So two different currencies for upgrading the skills. There are also skins for the characters, but I do not have any, of course, myself. And also, hold up for a second, the gear system. So you can see, the gears have different star ratings, so 4 star, 3 star, 2 star, and so forth. And also, the gear, maybe not for the weapons, but for example, for armors and stuff, you can see there are sets. And you get different effects, depending on how many pieces of a set are you wearing right now. I'm sure you have seen this system in a lot of MMO. RPG games before, so I don't have to explain it, but yeah, there is gear system with the bonus set effects, basically. So yeah, there is that. And now let's go over to the PvP and then I'm going to do the summons. Like I said, this is an idle game. I unlocked as much content as I could. I have a lot of story to do, I have a lot of farming to do, but this game mode right here I don't have, so I cannot show it to you. So let's go under the PvP section. You can do the PvP as long as you have the entry keys, but the thing that I don't like about PvP is the fact there is no auto-repeat function for the PvP. Like, why? I can auto-farm stages on auto-repeat for materials, I can do the same for the story, but I have to pay PC the game when I want to do PvP. I mean, it makes no sense. So, that's the one thing that I believe this game has to improve. There has to be an auto repeat function for entering the PvP. And maybe even keep battle function as well. Even though it's not mandatory, it would be nice to have. But if you don't want to give me skip battle function for the PvP, at least let me. At least let me have auto repeat for the button so I don't have to babysit it and just press the button every time I want to do a new button on PvP. So yeah, that's how the PvP looks like. It's fully automated against people who are close to your rank. But most people don't have the team set up for the PvP, that's why I have been fighting people with just one character because you have to set up the PvP team in your formation menu just like in Epic 7 for example so a lot of people don't set it up and that's why their defenses were so easy for me. Now let's end this video with the summons but before I go to the summons one more thing that I don't like about this game. Right now this one character that you can see right now on the main screen is the only character that has life to be and that, that, and that you can use on the main screen. You cannot use anyone else right now as your main screen secretary and that sucks. So that's another thing that I would like them to improve and those two things are my biggest complaint I would say. 
And now let's go over to the summons and finish this video with my final thoughts on the game. Okay, so let's go over, hold up, to the featured banner? Where is the featured banner? Hello game. Hold up, something is not right. Maybe there is no featured banner anymore? I don't know. There it is. I don't know why I couldn't see it. Okay, so this is the featured banner. And the rates, you can see right here, there is 2%, 2.5%, I mean, for 5 star unit, and 2% chance that it will be the featured banner unit. And there is also 5%, 3%, for something else, I don't know what that is at all, maybe there is something else other than the characters in it as well. I have no idea, I have never done the summons on this game, so let's see what is it all about. And let's do the summon, and we will know everything, if it's just characters or maybe something else as well. Okay, so we got one 3 star. Looks like we got a um, 5 star, maybe? Oh, okay, so there is five star weapons. There is weapons and characters in the in this banner. In Gacha, in Gacha pool, you have characters and weapons as well. Okay. I also really like this soundtrack, by the way. It's really nice. The one that I can hear at least in the in this summoning screen. Okay, another one. Weapon. Oh my God! Another weapon. Come on. The shaft is real. No 5 star units, only the weapons. Okay, game. Okay. Please, Batman. But it is what it is, I guess. One more 3 star unit. And okay, I got two 5 star weapons. And some 3 star characters. So, yeah, guys. That will be everything. Now, my final opinion about this game. So, I would say this is a pretty good and high quality. Even though it doesn't seem this way, it's pretty good and high quality idol game. I really love how the in-game models look in this game. I love how the graphics look. When you are in the combat, it just looks amazing. I don't mind the artworks because I think they fit what you can see on your screen when you are in the combat. But two things that it, this game has to work on, add more life to the, to the game and allow me to set anyone I want on the main screen menu and add auto repeat function for arena and that's all overall i would recommend this game i think it's a great game plays great looks well looks great as well i would totally recommend this one and yeah i don't know what else to say guys but i would totally recommend this game i'm giving it a pass i think it's an amazing idol game and i hope it will come global one day but that will be all from me for this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe if you would want to and leave a like. And yeah guys, see you in the next video. Bye!